Hey, what's going on guys? Before we start the video, I'd like to make an announcement that me and the channel now have a new sponsor, ReflectiveDecals.com, the same people I got the decals for my helmet. ReflectiveDecals.com mostly makes reflective decals for motorcycle helmet applications, but they can die cut anything. And you could use those decals for any application, whether it's a car helmet, a helicopter helmet, you know, bicycle helmet, anything you could think of, even stuff that you want to stick on your bike or your car. They use 3M retro reflective industrial grade vinyl, and with that they can pretty much die cut anything. If something you want isn't on their website, you could always message them and basically just let them know what it is you need for what application. So go check out their website at reflectivedecals.com and use the promo code JED underscore be seen for free shipping on any product. Also check them out on Instagram at Reflective Decals. All right, let's get on with the video. to move up to a different bike or move to a different bike for a long time I just you know there was just never a right time for it there's never a right time for any of these things huh I think now it's now it's gonna happen now it's gonna finally happen I think it's Tuesday night it's probably gonna be a little popping out here I'm in the downtown area I, I think at least oh yeah there's a lovely homeless person right there Nice. It's a bobber. Oh, okay. Of course this guy's blocking the road. Oh, it's kind of lively out here a little bit. Here we are in the middle of downtown, kind of. I have no idea where I, well actually I kind of do know where this area is but at the same time I'm like I don't I don't really go here very often. You know, it's, it's actually kind of funny me and my wife moved out here and we haven't really adventured into the downtown as much as we thought we would as much as we liked it on our trip beforehand. <laughs> Ooh, okay let's go down here then. Just here. Damn it. <laughs> Going back to where we came from. Never been down there before. <laughs> uh. 
Let's just randomly explore, guys. Urban exploration, am I right? Let's go down here. I don't know where this leads to, but sure. Let's go down here then. I think we're back at the at the at the square, the town center, or whatever it's called. Uh, kind of, sort of. Yeah, bro, just go. Uh, I'm probably causing a racket in this place. Let's go down here. Causing a racket. Let's take the scenic route back. Not the scenic route, but like the somewhat longer detour back home. <laughs> Florida. That's a nice piece of art. I never noticed that. I forgot the name of that restaurant, but it is pretty good. It's a pizza restaurant. Uh, they, they have other things to, there too, but me and my wife went there on our trip before moving out here and we ate there and it's actually pretty good. I also like the design of the place. It's very, uh, it's kind of wacky, you know? <laughs> I guess we'll just head home now. But yeah, quick overview or a quick uh, final owner's review of this bike. It's a good bike. It's a 2016, but I bought it brand new in 2017. It was unsold stock and I had it ever since, you know. They, I mean, there was a period in time where I wasn't riding it at all really, but even during that time, I didn't want to sell it. It's it's in that sweet spot to where it's, it's beginner friendly because it, you know, it's my first bike. So, you know, it was friendly to me at least. <laughs> But also, if you're an experienced rider, but you want something comfortable and easy, uh, something cruiser style, but you didn't want like to get a hog, get a big ass hog, then this is it, you know? A really good sweet spot. Not too big, not too small, not too slow, but not too fast. And even though it's a cruiser, it's not like a traditional cruiser where they're all heavy and stuff. It's still very lightweight and flickable. These things are only like 500 pounds or like just under 500 pounds wet. And that's bone stock. Mine should be even a little bit lighter than that simply because of my exhaust, you know? 10 out of 10 would recommend this bike for beginners, small people, uh, women, uh, experienced people that don't want anything too crazy. You know, it's it's a good all-around bike for really, really anybody. Regardless of who you are, there's a there's a place in your stable for a bike like this. Let's say let's just say that. <laughs> this video pretty much just marks the end of an era. I, I started riding with this bike. I started this channel with this bike. Um, started a lot of things because of this bike, you know. And now this long chapter is closing. You know, <laughs> you know. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little emotional about it because this this bike, you know, has a def definitely has a place in my heart. A lot of sentimental value with this bike. It's definitely gonna be weird without the bike around the Vulcan S specifically, but so uh, it has to happen. It just it just has to. There's no other way around it. I'm ready. I mean, you know, I'm, I've been ready for a little while now. So let's uh, let's get it. On the bright side, this uh, this bike, you know, will live on in a way because of my YouTube channel. Because I still have all the old videos of this baby on here. You know, I don't plan on uh, deleting them or anything. So, yeah, it, it will kind of live on in that aspect. It's kind of like a historical record in a way. So, yeah. <laughs> uh.
south of the kind of nice right in front of the, the lake <laughs> so yeah I'm not trying to make this this video a long one I'm not trying to make it all drawn out or anything so if you guys like the video please hit the like button go ahead and comment and share this video and if you have me go ahead and subscribe you know here's to uh new things in the future here's to uh bigger better things here's to change here's to things to you know new things all right other than that peace out